Uh, hello everyone. Uh, what I'm selling this time is a combination of gearhead motor, timing belt, steel timing belt with link clip. You're able to make smaller only. If I uh, straight this uh, and the pulley, large pulley, which is a uh, is a uh, like about three inches in diameter, two seven eighths, three inches in diameter. So the distance and, and the other little small pulley in the motor gear in the gearhead motor. It, actually, I removed this from a uh, robotic table. So. If I straight this thing and try to measure between centers, average, I have about um, three inches, three inches away, because a large pulley and a small pulley. Timing belt, steel timing belt, aluminum, aluminum, aluminum pulley, and steel pulley into the motor. The motor is um, is made by by uh, Breville Motors. Model number is um, ECRCW902955-4281. I don't know numbers, but anyway, I just have to provide that. Um, it's a double shaft end. Double shaft end. The main is about quarter inch, and the other and the other one is about probably three sixteenths or one eighth. Let me let me make sure what is the size of the other one. It's about five sixteen, five thirty second. I'm sorry, five thirty seconds, five thirty seconds. Both had a flat surface for secure uh, for really secure the either the uh, pulley or whatever you put in back you're able to put in the tachometer encoder this the two screws is building this and threaded holes inside so anyway it's a good motor uh, doesn't show the the, the the voltage it's a DC motor it doesn't show but you know for uh, for robotics uh, my experience mostly of the motors at this size is 24 volts um, let me do, let me <clears throat> power on and see how it is. Okay, I have a tachometer and I want to measure both. There's the RPM of the gear head and the RPM of the motor. Is in a, I want to use the back. The way I do that. The way my tachometer works and is it actually more accurate, I um, I paint in black the uh, the shiny of the uh, of the shaft, and then I use on a small reflecting tape. So when the tachometer reading is go through the reflecting and this more accurate way to to read the RPM uh, however I can't guarantee exact RPM due to the different tachometers in order to do that I want to turn this light off because I need is not has not to be too bright and let's do the first test, test to the gear head and this gave me 90 90 revolutions per minute it's a very power it's a very power gearhead I cannot stop it I mean it's a it's so let's now let's now see the RPM on the motor, motor itself it's 6000 RPMs 6000 RPMs down to 90 RPMs through the gear head. Turn it off. It's very powerful. You can hear this noise. 
Okay. This will be include what I said, the pulleys, both pulleys and the timing belt, steel timing belt. The both this include the both pulleys and the link timing belt with the link clip. If you're able to make it smaller, if you use a different pulley, you're able to make it smaller or have more more range of uh, distance. Could be great for automation, robotics, conveyors, and many many applications where power in the gear head is required. Okay, well, I test the motor for a little for a little bit in 24, and it's okay. If you notice that it's getting warmer or something, you can drop to 12. Of course, everything's going to be dropped, you know. The RPM could be 3000 and the the gear head maybe turn about 45 RPM. So, it all depends. Uh, you know, that this type of motors are, you have to play with them in order to get more advantage and, and secure working. Okay. That you're gonna sell for only $12.99. Only $12.99 for the whole thing. And I wanna put this in a small flash gray box, USPS priority mail for $7.50. $7.50 for shipping, USPS is small flat gray box, and $12.99 only for the for the motor pull ace timing belt combination. Thank you for watching. I will take some pictures. The overall length of the motor, including shafts, is about five and a three quarter. The motor itself is about two and a half. Not, I don't count the shaft. The gear head is about one inch. The diameter of the gear head is about two inches. It's quite, quite nice. And the diameter of the motor is about inch and a half and the diameter of the gear head is inch more inch and a three quarter so I have to provide all that actually the model of the gear head is a Breville also model 713 Bre Breville model 713 is the number is attaching the is in, in, the, in the gear head Okay, thank you for watching. I will take some pictures. Of course, if you switch the polarity, the polarity you have to, and then the motor go counterclockwise. So thank you for watching. I will take some pictures and we for sale pretty soon. Twelve ninety nine. The combination seven fifty for shipping. USPS priority mall small flat rate box. Thank you, and we'll be for sale pretty soon.